Hi, it's the Constant Angler. Um, I'd like to talk to you about a reel which I've owned for getting on for two years now. The Casking Spartacus Plus. It's a cheap budget reel, but I found it to be a great buy. So I'll explain to you some of the specs of the reel. Uh, the reel has a gear ratio of 6 to 3 to 1, so it's not a fast reel, but that's a nice sort of versatile um, gear ratio. Uh, it has 11 plus 1 shielded bearings it is 7.6 ounces in weight so it's not the lightest but not the heaviest and it holds a hundred yards if I can find it there 100 yards of 12 pound mono what that equates to in braid I'm not sure but I've got 20 pound braid on here now and uh, it's plenty for what I do plenty spare there it's got a, one of the most attractive features, which caused me to buy it in the first place, was its dual braking system. So on the outside here, we have a dial. Now this is your magnetic braking dial, and you can see it goes from zero to nine with clicks in between. <clears throat> if you'll notice here, there's a little pull switch, and I use this to remove the side plate. So all we do is just pull that down, twist to the right, pop the side plate off, we have a look at the side plate there's your magnets inside and as you turn the dial they move closer to the inside of the spool thus providing more magnetic brakes quite an easy thing to operate uh, if we look here this is your spool and on your spool is your braking system which is your centrifugal braking system and if i just pull that out a little you can turn your brakes from less to more it has settings from zero to six so it's quite easy to open on the uh, bank and do this and adjust to wherever you want the only downside I can see is there used to be a little tiny red spot that showed you where <coughs> excuse me where uh, what setting you had it on so I might put a little bit of uh, tipex or something on there to make that easier but it's a minor detail it's an easy enough job to do so if I pop Ah, well, hang on a second. Let's show you the spool when it's out. So if you're taking the spool out, you can see there's one protruding there. Little white plastic, something like that, bushes. And what happens is as this spool goes faster, depending what settings you have it on, more of these will pop out and rub on the inside of this, uh, I presume is a brass ring there, giving you your braking effect. Let's pop this back in. Uh, we can have a look at this side if you want. There's a spindle with a, a bearing on it. And you push it into the, the main drive. Pop it back on. There, easy job. Lovely. So yeah, it's got the dual braking system. Um, the centrifugal brakes uh, have their most influence in the beginning of the car, so you can really whack it one, and they will spin out and control that and the magnetic brakes uh, have an influence throughout the cast and more towards the end of the cast. So what else have we got with this reel? Um, yeah, it's got a good drag on it. It's 17.5 pounds of drag, which is good for a bait caster of this, of this size. Uh, it's got an audible drag clicker. It is a carbon fiber four disc matrix drag. Uh, there's your intention knob here it's got nice red accents on it uh, that doesn't click yeah it's a minus but yeah we're not worrying that much about that i can still do what i needed to do lovely um cork rubberized handles with the casking logo uh, burnt in there and a decent size handle not a large handle but a good standard size handle it actually feels a solid reel uh, i wouldn't say it's buttery smooth like some of your more expensive um makers but it's smooth and it feels solid in the hand it's nice low profile you can see there it's very palmable and sat on a rod and i think it's quite a nice looking reel it has these red accents and a red spool ported spool even yeah solid reel uh, another thing we can mention is that it has a good solid positive thumb bar it's as good as the day i bought it now I'm what I would call, although I'm called the constant angler, I would um, 
quote another channel say I'm an occasional angler maybe a weekend angler I'm not using this real weekend week in even <clears throat> out day in day out I'm not a competition angler uh, I probably have used this real ooh, I don't know I'd guess 20 to 30 times a year something like that use it quite a bit I have you I do use it mainly for my ras fishing in salt water and it has proved to be quite salt waterproof all I do at the end of the session is spray the reel off maybe put some oil in and out on the bearings and a little bit of grease on the uh, spindle there uh, for your line guide but yeah it's stood the test of time in salt water I've used it for pike fishing and I use it for perch fishing and I'm very happy with it it seems to be a very versatile reel because of the size the gear ratio is very versatile you can use it for a variety of lures obviously when I'm ras fishing I'm using Jika rigs Texas rigs I can use it for a small I can use it for plugs hard baits uh, swimming jigs spinner baits chatter baits all your usual sort of standard size soft plastics metal hard bodies lures it's, as I say one of its biggest attractions is its versatility particularly with the dual braking system which I would suggest is very good for beginners because it is extremely controllable uh, it casts well and is solid uh, one of the biggest attractions of the reel also probably maybe the biggest attraction of the reel is the price of the reel currently on eBay I looked today it's anywhere from 27 pounds to 35 pounds delivered to the UK so that's extremely cheap why wouldn't you buy it for that that's, that's the kind my kind of thinking behind that it, it was worth a go as I said it's not as smooth as your high-end reels but you know it does the job and it does it very well and it is reasonably smooth yeah, plus you can use it in all environments so why would I buy it well as I've said already I'd buy it because of the price because of the dual braking system because it's solid and reliable and it's versatile and for the price I don't think you can go wrong so another winner from casking there I don't just use casking reels I'm not sponsored if anybody wants to ask uh, I will do reviews of other makers reels as and when I purchase them but I hope that helped in some way and gives you the confidence to buy one yourself go ahead you won't be disappointed you'll be smiling from ear to ear like myself cheers please like and subscribe don't forget to hit the notification notification bell the constant angler